hello everyone this is asmr studio welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial today uh, i'll show you how to edit indoor portrait uh, sometimes um, you just uh, get a nice photo in your indoor photo but uh, you need to adjust the lights of a skin and other things um, and smooth the skin uh, actually okay like that uh, actually this one is my final output and the previous one a subtle change but uh, it can change all the things of uh, your photo okay uh, this is important for any photographers any fashion photographers basically so let's start uh, actually I will just okay this one is our stock photo I will give you that stock photo download link in my video description so don't forget to check it out and it's easy to use um, the previous uh, another tutorial I just shown this type of uh, technique but in this tutorial the speciality is that I won't change any kind of um, uh, color from here I'll only change the face or the skin color uh, this one is the speciality of this tutorial so at first I'll make copy by pressing ctrl J or you can drag this layer and drop over there you'll get a, a new layer over there okay after that another copy of this one and I'll just uh, make dodge burn uh, this technique I just uh, given you that action over there but I want to show you how to edit manually okay um, here is my two layers I'll make another layer for the safety purpose okay uh, here is the burn layer that's why i'm giving the b and dodge layer for the tip d i'm just turning off b layer and turning on and make it skin blending mode and go to the blending options from the blending options you'll get a slider over there you can slide and adjust the lights uh, you can divide this slider by pressing alter and click once it will divide and you can adjust the face light and hit the ok button after that you can mask it and go to the image and apply image and hit the ok button you get change already okay but uh, uh, in our image you know the shadow and highlight two things are existence so uh, that's why we need the shadow uh, i'm making it multiply and for the shadow i'm doing this one and in this case i'll adjust this slider and press alter same and adjust the shadow there and mask this one and go to the image and apply image invert this one in this case and hit the ok button after that just select these two layers and make it group and make it mask and go to the image and the apply image uncheck the invert option and hit ok you'll get nice shadow and highlight in this photo ok after that just select these two things and make it group make it merge actually i'll going to make this type of any layer or another layer okay after that uh, go to the filter and the portrait filter i'll give that plugins to you in my video description so don't forget to check it out the setup of the enhancement like that 29 and the soften 9 percent and warm minus 2% you can adjust this one you can make it warm like that or you can make it cool like that uh, whatever you want you can adjust with it so here is the panel uh, you can add tint if you add more tint it will be uh, yellowish and you can go to the minus and it will be reddish type okay I'll keep it in the middle and here is the brightness if you want to add brightness you can do or you can decrease the brightness you can also do that okay don't highlight it too much otherwise it will be overexposed okay keep in a balanced way and hit the ok button but uh, uh, some sharpness reduced so that's why uh, I'll make it mask and inverse mask by pressing ctrl I, I for inverse and when this one is black you have to make it white or reset this one and just you can do that and take the brush by default brush and pixel 100 
pixel around 100 pixel and the sharpness or hardness 0% and then you can zoom it or you can control the brush size by pressing third bracket opening and closing just brush over there okay just uh, now brush on a skin it will give the smooth skin to you okay that means what is uh, i'm doing here i'm just uh, masking those area which is i just applied the positive filter from the smoothness otherwise i'm keeping that um, unchanged and that's why it's a uh, um, just sharpen like uh, eyes and uh, lips i don't have to uh, smooth that things just because of those are uh, the sharpening point or the sharpening edge okay i'll take a blank layer and now i'm going to increase the eye color uh, i'm taking the white color or you can make uh, like this one but you have to take the brighter color and hit the ok button make the brush size small by pressing third bracket opening and press once and here also and go to the blending mode and make it overlay you'll get nice the shiny eyes okay this one is the output basically don't you don't have to change anything or any color uh, just because of the color is already good and moody color so if you get the smooth skin and the bright eyes um, the similar to the dress then you can get or make it more uh, just attractive or the perfect for the present okay uh, previous one and the present one will get shiny and nice portrait okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial don't forget to check out my video description and don't forget to subscribe my channel all the just resource file i just given on my video description so check out my video description and don't forget to share with your friend till the next video i am asmr signing out and bye bye